Weather Authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Looking out toward Fairbanks Park, where there was fireworks tonight. Uh, Graber Post Building Skywatch weather cam showing uh, just some cloudiness out there. We hope it stays that way. There is that shower and storm threat. It was a hot one today, 90 and 68. Averages 86 and 65. Here's what we're tracking on the weather headlines. Rain-free fireworks? Question mark. Some might get a shower storm. Most won't. Rain hangs around for a few days, though. And it's going to be a little cooler, too, but not for long. 88 in Terre Haute. Look at it. Feels like 96. I mean, you see these temps this morning in the 60s. 70 down at only. 68 at Terre Haute in the highs. Hit the 90 mark here and there. Paris 91, 89 at uh, Vincennes. 86, Washington. We had 90 here at the studios. In Paris right now, 90. Oh, it's sizzling out there. Go over to Greencastle, 86. Bloomington, 86. Aldi. Vincennes, Newton, all these down here in the 70s. Rain cooled. Some showers with a few storms moved through. Feels a little warmer in a few spots, too. 96 Terre Haute, 101 at Paris. Not so bad south with that rain having moved through. Winds out of the south tonight. They'll be light uh, after sunset diminished around 5 miles an hour. So if you're headed out tonight for fireworks or anything else, take the umbrella just in case. It'll be a hit or miss shower storm. It should be fairly widely separated, so not a washout by any stretch of the imagination. Back around Kansas City, moving towards St. Louis, there's an active system spinning around, but that's diminishing in intensity and strength. That's what we want to see. We don't want any action here tonight. We want fireworks to go off without any trouble. Here's a six-hour local satellite and radar loop. You can see this little line of showers and storms that move through is weakening now as it moves into the Vincennes area. And this batch up here north of Effingham, kind of holding together, so we'll keep tabs on all that. Here's the latest look at that. Live on our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, just a few hit or miss showers and storms as you go south. And that line from Coles Cumberland, just north of Effingham, so fingers crossed for fireworks to be dry. Now, storm energy, peak afternoon, that's the main time, both tomorrow and Saturday. You'll see the shading turn red as we get into the warm part of the day Friday, and then things diminish and then a Saturday, we'll repeat the same process. So basically, if we pop any storms Friday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, or Saturday afternoon, then into the early evening, then things start to calm down. Here we go into Friday. I think the morning a little bit more widespread, more of an active pattern Friday than what we have for today. And it uh, looks like that rain is going to repeat that pattern on Saturday. Now, future radar high resolution model does a pretty good job of placing rain, timing, and everything else. It holds off on much activity until we get into Friday evening. And you can see it sparks a few showers and storms, although this update on this model run shows that it's less of a threat Friday. That's good news. Saturday, same thing, may hold more south. Now, if you're headed out tonight, here's the weather your forecast. 9, 10, 11 o'clock. Now, it's not going to rain all the time. You see those showers with the flash of lightning? That's just to indicate there's a threat. Most of you will stay dry in the temps. Kind of muggy, 83 at 9 o'clock, 81 by 10, down to 78 by 11. Just take the umbrella just in case. 72 tonight, scattered showers and storms. Then tomorrow, rain more likely, especially afternoon with a storm or two and a hot 90 for the high. Then as we look ahead, rain likely Saturday tapers off early. Sunday, just a brief period of cooler weather before we get a little bit more muggy and warm up and maybe some rain back in by Thursday, Omar. Dan.